Hi guys, welcome back to Making Manzanita. If you are new here, we share weekly DIY and renovating videos and we have a fun one for you guys today. Uh, if you are new here, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next one and then turn on the notifications and then it'll let you know when we post a new video, which is once a week. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be sharing uh, some organizing ideas for craft paint. So if you're anything like me, you tend to collect craft supplies, probably more than you use them, and you may be struggling with what to do with all your little craft paints. And what I'm talking about is this. This size of little acrylic craft paints. And I try to keep these pared down so I don't have a lot of duplicates, but uh, either way, I end up needing some way to store them. So when we redid our office renovate, uh, makeover, it was a few years ago, like about two years ago, we built an amazing pegboard, which is just to my right here. And on one of the shelves, I created a system to store and display my craft paint. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys here today. And then I also have a few other ideas from some other DIY bloggers that are awesome that I'm gonna share after mine. And then I also have some ideas for you if you just wanna buy something. If you don't wanna make it, you just wanna grab something on Amazon. So I'm gonna be sharing those at the end of the video. And then all of the links for what I mentioned, whether it's a product or another blog post from another blogger, uh, those will all be linked in the video's description. So feel free to hop on down there if you want any more information about anything you see here today. And then if you have any questions, just let us know. So here is the pegboard I mentioned, and we have a full video tutorial on how to make this if you want to make it yourself. So feel free to hop on over to that. But these are the plywood pieces that I used for the shelves. And then I grabbed these wooden crates at Walmart. And sadly, the price has gone up just slightly, uh, but I'll be sure to put a link to those when I uh, finish the video in the video description. So over here on the left is where I wanted all my craft paints to be displayed. And I really liked that little gray arch area as just a way to kind of round them up. So I ended up using two of the small wooden crates and I just stacked them on top of each other. And that ended up being the perfect amount for the craft paint that I have on hand. Um, and so I just stacked them up on each other. I didn't attach them or anything. I just stacked them and then I put the craft paint in and I put it so that the end or the bottom of the uh, container was on the outside. So you can see there, I very quickly and easily can see what color is what. And I kind of arranged them in a rainbow order with the neutrals and then the warm colors and then the cool colors at the top. And those little crates ended up working perfect for me and they've continued to work for me for two years now. I still use this system today. Next to the pegboard, I ended up grabbing some just clear glass containers and I got those from the Dollar Tree and I used that to kind of round up some string and my washi tape. And you can see here, I have tons of other craft supplies organized on our pegboard in various different ways, whether it's a hook or a basket or directly on a shelf. I have my yarn up here. I made those little leather slings for the yarn to sit in. And then of course my craft paint is there in the little wooden crates. So this ended up being the perfect solution for us to organize my craft paint and just get it displayed. But uh, not everyone's situation for their craft room or their area is the same. So I wanted to share a, a few alternative ideas with you in today's video. So let's jump into the exact products. So I mentioned that the price had gone up. These are the crates I was using. Now they're $7.87 at my local Walmart. So prices will vary, but this is the exact size that I used. And so I was able to just grab those locally, but you may be able to just hop on walmart.com and buy those. I wasn't able to find them at any other retailer. I couldn't find one at Amazon or anything. So uh, I have put the link in the video description so you can feel free to just hop down there if you want the exact crates that I used and they were the perfect size for acrylic craft paint. This is another idea from Walmart. If you just want something else, this is a more of a bin, not a crate, um, but it's also a good size to hold craft paint. So something to keep in mind, the craft paint that I showed you at the beginning of the video, just the standard size, they are four inches tall. So when you're looking for alternative bins and crates, that's kind of what you want to keep in mind. And you can see this one is six inches tall. So the bin, or is just a little too deep. Uh, there will be a couple inches. You can either just tuck everything back or um, have it pushed to the front. 
So here's another option from the Dollar Tree. Note these are quite a bit smaller, but they're also a lot cheaper. So you will need more of them to hold the same amount of paint. And these ones are three and a quarter uh, deep. So the paint would just hang out like uh, three quarters of an inch off the front edge. So, but this is another option that uh, is really budget friendly and you kind of get the same thing. All right, so I love this idea. This is from Sarah at Creative Ramblings, and she set up a long shelf in her craft space, and then she organized the small craft paint bottles in rainbow order. Not only is it beautiful, but it's super easy to find the exact color that you're looking for. Next is a, an idea from Tony from Girl Just DIY, and I love this idea. She used repurposed drawers from an old sewing machine. She spray painted them and then painted the bottoms of the drawers with some colorful accent colors, and then the three drawers are connected on the backside with paint sticks, and they're just kind of stapled in place, and then it's mounted up on the wall. All right, so if DIY isn't your thing, I've got you covered. Here are some great options from Amazon that you can just buy and get shipped directly to you and very quickly organize your craft paint. So this one's great because it has tons of options, but it is quite a bit bigger than my situation. So you'll need adequate space to store it, either up on a shelf, in a closet, or on your workspace. So I'll be sure to put the link for that one. And then this one's nice because everything is vertical. So this could work really easily like on a shelf like I have um, because it just doesn't take a lot of space and it could also be mounted up on the wall which is really handy uh, so that one is a great option it is a little more expensive than the other one um, but I think well worth it it does hold a lot of craft paint and then the last option is one that uh, is pretty genius it's like a little rotating it's almost like an old Rolodex uh, if you know what that is and this one is really cool uh, you can store a lot of paint in a small area because it's able to rotate you just twist it on the side and kind of flip through all the different options so i hope you guys enjoyed that video and i hope you're feeling inspired to get a little more organized in your craft area uh, with one of those great ideas i hope that you have a great rest of your week and if you haven't already subscribe to our channel and then you can check out this video next all right we will see you next week have a good day